Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Faithful Friday, and normally that means that I show you the next Bible journaling entry in the book of the Bible that I'm currently working through. Today, however, and through the month of December, every Friday I'm going to be bringing you a Bible journaling entry based on this book here. It's called Jesus Cares for Women, and it is a five-part Bible study on five different women in the Bible with whom Jesus interacted in ways that demonstrated his love and compassion for them. It's put out by Nav Press, and I'm just giving you a glimpse at kind of what the study looks like. So there's a very short reading and just a few discussion questions. I've done this Bible study three times now, and the first two times were with a group, and then this time I'm kind of going through it by myself-ish. The reason I say by myself-ish is because I'm actually not going through it by myself. I'm going through this study with several other women here on YouTube, and we are collaborating together every Friday in December to bring you a couple videos from this study. So this week I'm collaborating with my friend Amber Horn. Her link for her channel will be in my description box below, as well as a link to the video that she created for this week's Bible study. Now this week in Jesus Cares for Women, we are discussing and reading about the sorrowing woman. And the sorrowing woman refers to a woman who is mentioned in Luke chapter 7. If you've not read this story recently, go ahead and read it. I was discussing it with my husband and he was like, where is that in the Bible? And it's in Luke 7. It's a very short passage, but it's really profound how Jesus interacts with this grieving woman. So here's the story in a nutshell. This woman was a widow and had just lost her son. And this is his funeral procession that we get to witness in Luke 7. And in that day, being a widow was a pretty awful state for a woman to be in. And then to have lost her only son on top of that put her in an even worse place in their society. And so she had a whole lot of grief inside her. And Jesus went up to her because he had compassion on her. And he says to her, do not weep. And then he ends up touching the box that is carrying her dead son's body, which is a super unclean, dirty thing for Jesus to be willing to touch with his hand. And he raises her son to life and gives him back to her. It's such an amazing story, and I'm so moved, and I'm so excited to be sharing with you this fact that Jesus cares for women. So please subscribe. Please tune in every Friday. You're not going to want to miss one of these weeks where we get to talk about how much Jesus cares for women. These are some flowers that actually grow in the area of Judea where this story took place. And I had no idea that this was the case, but they also grow here in the Middle East where I live. And so actually, I think it was just yesterday, I was driving around and I looked over and I saw these very flowers. And I was like, I just journaled that in my Bible. Those are the same flowers. I chose to draw these flowers because when I think funeral, especially nowadays in our culture, I think about flowers. Yet this flower for me kind of symbolizes a gift that Jesus was giving back to this woman that he had compassion on. He was just handing her back these flowers that were still living. They didn't need to be used as a funeral decoration. He chose to raise her son back to life and give him back to her, which is just so touching. So, so far on this page, I have used my Crayola twistable colored pencils. You guys know I love those to pieces. I'm also starting to add in a bit of a border around the edge of the page using a fine point Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. And there I was just using a Faber-Castell brush pen in the lightest gray color that I have to add a little bit of shadowing behind the flowers. And then here I'm just going in with a fine point pen and adding some lining on the flowers to establish a bit more definition to them as well, have them sort of pop off of the page instead of disappear onto the page. 
In my Bible, this story starts at the bottom left page and ends at the upper right. And so I wanted to do something to sort of tie it all together. And so I also decided to go ahead and highlight the entire story using just a very light hand with this purple colored pencil, which matches the flower and it just brings it all together. And I just really want all of my Jesus Cares for Women pages to just be very feminine because God has a heart for women. One thing that blessed me so much in this story is that Jesus was moved with compassion and told this woman not to weep. But not only that, he also gave her comfort, and in this case it was in the form of her son living again. I want to encourage you during this holiday season when things are difficult, sometimes things are very dark, sometimes we find ourselves in a place of disappointment or loneliness, I want to encourage every one of you that Jesus cares for you. So that's why every Friday we're going to be looking into this Bible study, Jesus Cares for Women, to see just exactly how he did that. I hope you get a chance today to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. God bless, and I will see you next time.